now take you to New York City where our next segment highlights man's best friend. New York City has gone to the dogs and there is no bigger stage than Madison Square Garden to host the 136th Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Founded in 1877, Westminster is New York's oldest sporting event and America's second oldest behind the Kentucky Derby. In attendance is over 2,000 purebred dogs, all in the hunt to be named best in show. So now, let's talk to some of the owners and handlers and check out some of the personalities of these purebred pups. The Springer Spaniel is essentially a hunting breed, but um, is also bred for beauty, as you see, and most importantly, its personality. This is a wonderful family pet. And, 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 and what's his name? This is Gilligan. Gilligan. And he is just about as silly as his namesake. <laughs> is, that, is that his personality? Silly? Oh, you bet it is. I see. Look at you. Oh. He'd love to chat, obviously. I see. And, and, and when we were talking, what are, what are, uh, tell us a little bit about... Uh, these, are, these are on so that once we've straightened out the ears in grooming, that we can keep them straight till he goes in the ring and they don't fall in the water bucket, etc. Of course, he pushed this one off. <laughs> Okay. See, I need my hair straightened today. Maybe I. So need do I. Like <laughs> <laughs> and where did the dog uh, originate from? Do you know, or the the breed itself? Yes. The breed itself, being an English Springer Spaniel, was from England, and has been. Whoops! There he goes. He's going down. We have. Um, they imported them to the states. Ooh, I want to say back in the 1920s, around there, um, and then became a. An offshoot, Cocker Spaniels became an offshoot. It's, it's a mixed kind of bag that they came from England. And it looks like a beautiful personality, gets along with other pets, uh, also children. Yep. And I have three others at home, and they all love each other. And It loves kids. He, does, he adores children. And what makes them happy? Gilligan happens to like people, most importantly. <laughs> um, like people. He also is, um, he does agility work. He loves agility. He loves to jump and fly and run. They're, they're happiest when they're busy. They, have, they like a job. And, and uh, the New York City experience? We have had an awful lot of fun. <laughs> we've, been, um, we've done this before, but we brought a, um, a group of people came with us. So we have what we call Team Gilly. And we've all had an awful lot of fun. Um, Team Gilly. Team Gilly. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and we're all celebrating afterwards over by the, in the benching area with a little Team Gilly party. Oh, well, good luck to you there, Team Gilly and Thank Gilligan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. With us is Cisco. Cisco, yes. A Bonhoeff Cisco Kitty. He's a dog to Bordeaux. And, and tell us a little bit about the uh, breed and... He's, uh, well, they're also known as French Mastiffs, um, and they're most recognized pretty much by uh, Turner and Hooch with Tom Hanks. They were, they were in that movie and most recognized for the slobber. <laughs> but, oh, and, the, and they slob, so. They slob, huh? Very, very much so. Very much so. So how much does this go away? He's about 160 pounds, so he's... Pretty big boy, you know, very well trained, or he could take me wherever he wanted to go, you know, so. A lot of power oh. there. And he wants to stretch out and lay down. He always does this right before we go in the ring. I want his energy up, and he's like, oh, I'll take a nap. <laughs> What's their life expectancy? Um, it's probably about six to eight years, but a lot of it depends on the pedigree and the lines they come from, you know, so it's very important for buyers to make very well-informed decisions and research it a lot because there's some, you know, congenital disorders that run through every breed. So it's very good to have the health testing and make sure that you're getting a dog that, you know, comes from a very good, healthy back background. And Ennis, I know you got to get in a ring. What's his strong point? Oh, he can move. He, he moves move. like the wind, so <laughs> hopefully, well, he'll be moving like the wind today. Where does Cisco live? We are from Scranton, Pennsylvania, so just right down the oh, road, okay. which so, is nice. So he has a lot of room to, oh. not, not like a New York City apartment. <laughs> Cisco I, I, might have a little trouble, huh? He might, over, yeah, exactly, but you know, they're pretty much a, a very sedentary dog. They'll get up and play if you want them to, but 
They're also happy to just lay around and sleep on a nice, cool floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe that would fit in. I know, it would. That would. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, good luck in the ring now. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We'll be going in there in just a couple minutes, so. <laughs> okay, Cisco. <laughs> It's our first show up here. We have never been to Westminster, so this is the first time ever, and it's been a long time dream for me. Um, for 15 years, I was hoping I could walk the garden with my dog, and now I didn't. <laughs> Look, I'm starting to cry. Where are you from? I'm originally from Düsseldorf, but I'm in Germany, and um, I'm living in Virginia Beach, um, Virginia. Yeah. And, and tell me, what's the dog's name? His name is Ruger, is his car name, and he is San Rafael, the enemy below. And, and tell us a little bit about uh, where it originated from, the dog, and, and, and a little bit about it, its background. The breed was originated in Germany, and um, it was uh, from a, a, a Mr. Doberman was the original breeder that developed the breed. And he used the breed for tax reasons because he was walking at nighttime and uh, gave, um, trying to get tax money collected. So he needed something where people would say, like, okay, I have to be careful. Um, oh, wait, tax money? Yes. Oh, so yes. he was trying to collect taxes. He was, yes, he was collecting oh, taxes. He right needed back. So he needed a dog that looked fear um, or impressive. And that's where the ears came from and the short tail and the whole impression. And they are such love bugs. I don't know what everybody and ever think that they are mean dogs. Yeah, how are they with children and family? Um, I personally don't have children, but I have a lot of company coming from Europe, and there's kids between two years and 16 years old. And I mean, they're coming in, and he sees them, and they're like, "Whoa, okay, they're believing this." Is our family. I have pictures of them sleeping with them. Night times, he deserts me and goes up with sleeping with the kids. Oh. So they're really, really um, good family dogs when it comes to it. And, and what's his lifespan? Um, that is a little bit of a sad story. Um, they're anywhere. We, we, we're really, really happy when they turn to be nine. And from that moment on, we start counting and counting. That every year counts and gets, gets longer and longer. So anything between 9 and 15, if you're very lucky, but more on the shorter end. On the shorter end? Yeah. Oh, wow. And, and, and what makes them happy? Um, squirrels. <laughs> uh, squirrel. Absolutely. He sees a squirrel and he just goes ballistic. Right now he thinks pigeons are squirrels when he goes around <laughs> the city. He's like, oh, look, 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 man, there's something. Um, what else makes him happy? Um, he likes to work. Um, he does um, obedience work and he also does tracking and um, does some protection work. So anything and everything he can, you know, as, as long as he's active, he can run around and just be himself. This is a different environment for him and I'm really surprised how great he's doing. Yes, how, how has he been with New York City and the big city um, life? I think he's coping better with it than I am. <laughs> well, you look like you're doing pretty well. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. No Thank problem. You. Good luck and have fun out here. You probably will see a million breeds. <laughs> I'm Crystal Hart. I hope you enjoyed the show and thanks for watching.